I still don't get it. Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Sweeto, and this week on My Digital Escape, we are doing top 10s. Top 10 what, you ask? Anything. But yeah, so I decided today I would be telling you guys my top 10 favorite bands. I've tried really hard to put them in order from 10 to 1, but it was pretty difficult. But I think I did a pretty good job. So let us begin. Number 10. Number 10 on my list are the Veronicas. If you don't know who the Veronicas are, they are an Australian duo. They're two sisters with amazing voices. You might know their songs Untouched or Hook Me Up. Up. Hook me up. Anywhere is good enough. Hook me up. Anyways, I think they're really freaking cool. And yeah, they're Australian like me, which makes them even cooler. Number nine. Number nine for me has to be All American Rejects. I love these guys and I remember back in school I used to listen to them all of the time. Actually, back when I was just starting to get into music after being the shy little that I was. I was playing songs like Move Along and Dirty Little Secret. It was a really happy and fun time in my life and I associate this band with it. So yeah, good work All American Rejects. Number eight. Number eight on my list is The Fray. You know the band. And I would have stayed up with you all night had I known how to save a life. Now you remember. Anyways, I freaking love the lead singer's voice. It's so raw and freaking awesome. <gasps> ah, ah, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. But yeah, their music is really chill and I like them a lot. Number seven. Number seven on my list is a band that I bet you have not heard of. Lemon Demon. If you remember those really old internet songs like Brody Quest and the ultimate showdown of ultimate Destiny. That is Lemon Demon and I freaking love their music. They're extremely quirky and the lead singer is actually the guy behind Potter Puppet Pals. You know. Snape. Snape. Severus Snape. Dumbledore! Yeah, his name's Neil Ciceriga, and I've talked about him in a couple of my videos before. His music is freaking quirky as all hell, and I love it. Number six. Number six on my list is Artist vs. Poet. She's adorable as hell. She's got me begging on my knees. La -da, da 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 I'm so into it. I freaking love these guys, and once again, I associate their music with a very happy time of my life. <laughs> it's funny how music can do that to you. Artist vs. Poet. You should check them out if you do not know who they are. Do it! Number five on my list is Panic at the Disco. I've loved these guys for so long. From back in school to now, my love for Panic at the Disco and their extremely long and unnecessary song titles is still burning strong. So testosterone boys and Harley Quinn girls, will you dance to this beat and hold our lover close? Wow! Yeah! Brendan Urie's voice. Oh, oh my god. Brendan Urie have my baby. Seriously, their music is incredible. Number four. Number four is probably no surprise to a bunch of you who check out my videos on my main channel, All Time Low. Once again, I have been listening to All Time Low since I was very young. Their songs are so freaking catchy and great, and I feel like they're one of the really good bands out there who have not changed at all. And it's like a really good thing. Their sound is still extremely reminiscent of their old days. It still manages to be fresh and new. It's like, what? It's cray cray, that's what it is. But yeah, I have been listening to All Time Low and singing their songs for a very long time now. And I have no regrets. I still need to see them live though. Maybe that's my regret. Number three. Number three on my list is The Ready Set. Jordan from The Ready Set writes music that is like perfect for my ears. Seriously, I love the poppy kind of synthy vibe that his music has got going on. It's extremely easy to dance to and catchy as all hell. Whenever a Ready Set song comes on, I can't help singing and dancing. She said I love this song, I've heard it before and it stole my heart. I know every word she's gonna dance. Admit it, you guys were singing along with me. I feel like The Ready Set is more than deserving to be number three on my list. Wow. Number two. Number two on my list of my favorite bands ever goes to Metro Station. I have been obsessed with Metro Station's music from the very first time I heard Shake It and California. I still remember it to this day. I had stolen my cousin's iPod away from her and started listening through random songs. Then BAM! Now she does it like this, will you do it like that? If she touches like this, will you touch her right back? Shake, shake, a shake it! From that moment on, I had to find and listen to every single Metro Station song. Their mix of rock and pop, it's just freaking awesome to me. And to top it all off, they're really nice guys. And I can't freaking wait to hang out with them on Warp Tour this year. It's gonna be amazing. And finally, the number one on my favorite bands list goes to... Owl City! A lot of you guys probably saw this one coming. I freaking adore Owl City and his music. Some of the reasons why are like the heavy influence by synth and pop. The lyrics are fun and really intelligent. And one thing I really freaking love about Owl City and Adam Young is just how positive his music and his image are. If I'm in a sad mood, I'll put 
put on Owl City. If I'm in a happy mood, I'll put on Owl City. I could listen to Owl City all day and not get tired of it. I've also been to an Owl City show before too, and it was the best freaking concert of my life. The place was electric, I was singing at the top of my lungs. Adam was having a blast up on stage. He actually said in an interview too that that show, that particular show, was one of his favorite memories of that year. I just freaking love Owl City. My favorite songs by him have to be How I Became the Sea, Take It All Away, and When Can I See You Again. It's been fun, but now I've got to go. When can I see you again? Whoa, oh, oh. So good. Favorite band slash artists. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment down below if you did. Please tell me what your top 10 favorite bands are. I really want to know. You guys are absolutely incredible. Mwah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next Thursday right here on My Digital Escape. See ya. Bye.